Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review 12 Years a Slave. Directed by Steve McQueen, it stars Chi Whittle, Ehoi Four, Michael K. Williams, Michael Fosbender, Brad Pitt, Paul Giamatti, Benedict Cumberbatch, Paul Dano, and Scoot McNary. This film is based on a true story about a black free man named Solomon Northup who lived in upstate New York, but he gets captured, sold into slavery, and now the man, he is living 12 years of being a slave. This is a film I've been hearing a lot of buzz about. It's a film that I hear that's definitely going to be a huge contender for the Oscars. A lot of people love this film. A lot of people praise this film. They say it's not easy to watch. And watching the trailers, I was really excited to see this film. It's actually one of my most anticipated films of this year, to be honest. And so, I was really interested to see how this was going to go. The cast looked fantastic, although some had small roles. And 12 Years a Slave is really good. Michael Fossbender, my goodness, this guy is so awful. He is so cruel, and he does not give a crap about anyone. You saw how much hate the guy had. He really was so brutal, so evil. You hate the guy, but he just acts it so well. The main actor named Chi Whittle Isior 4. I know I mispronounced that and I am sorry, but I wanted to try to pronounce his name because he deserves it. And he plays a character named Solomon Northup and this guy is so terrific. He is so strong. I was so captivated by how he delivered his role as Solomon Northup. He had wife, he had kids, and he goes a whole 12 years not seeing his family. That's depressing. And just seeing what this guy has gone through, it's just so horrible. It gets you teary-eyed. It is not easy to watch. You see cruelty. You see whipping. You see the scars on his back. It's like, oh, man. This film is really powerful. It is so engaging. You really care about the characters. And, of course, slavery is so wrong. There is nothing good about slavery at all. And Steve McQueen, he tells this true story about slavery and this one man's journey through his slavery life. It was just so terrific. And Steve McQueen, his direction is really good. And I thought how he did this film was just outstanding. Benedict Cumberbatch, he was really enjoyable here. And for someone that was the slave owner, he was actually not the worst one. And for the small part he had, I thought he did a really good job. Paul Dano, I thought in the past he's always overreacted. Even in films like Looper, which I really loved. But in this film, he acted at the right amount of tone. And Paul Dano was just so terrific here. Again, small role. But he did such a terrific job. Paul Giamatti, also small role, did a really good job here. That includes Brad Pitt, who does not appear in the film until the final 30 minutes of the movie. All the other actors, just all around, it's really impressive. I think this is a movie you should watch, not only as a movie buff, but if you're a history buff, go see 12 Years a Slave. Movie buff or history buff, you could really appreciate 12 Years a Slave. And it's really well done. Very well directed. Very well written. The cinematography for this film looks absolutely astonishing. It just looks clear, bright, beautiful, all around. Just great scenery. My only problems with 12 Years a Slave is that there are a few moments where I thought the film was dragging. And I was actually getting... A little bored and there was also a few times where Steve McQueen he takes these very long shots they last about a minute and a half and in my honest opinion they felt like a filler not that I'm gonna spoil anything but there was this one shot where a man is hanging from a tree and that shot literally lasts for a minute and a half something happens and then after that, it's another take of a long shot and dialogue doesn't happen again or something doesn't happen again until the next one and a half or two minutes 
of the film. So that did feel like a filler to me. That part of the film could have been easily cut down. I know this is a film a lot of people are going to give like 4 out of 4 stars, A+, plus, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, whatever rating system you guys use. I'm going to give 12 Years a Slave 3.5 out of 4 stars. I can't reach it to 4 because the film does feel a little long, but that doesn't mean the film is terrible because it's not. It is outstanding. It's really good. Almost every moment of this film made me go, wow. I can see this film getting so many Oscar nominations. I could just see it. Just be aware there's going to be some brutal scenes in the film that are going to be quite hard to see. But I think Steve McQueen needed to show that to show the true realism and cruelty of slavery. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude, don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!